Germans get your teenage teenagers ready for war that they don't want. That means all teenagers, not just the boys, because Germany doesn't believe in gender. Uh, that means German teenage girls, biological girls, being drafted into a war with Russia that most Europeans don't support. European politicians support this war. The people of Europe don't. Uh, last year, Germany said they wanted to add about 203,000 troops to their current military by 2031. Now they're saying there is no way to do this without conscription, which is so interesting. Like, oh, we sold you a war. We told you Putin's the bad guy. Why aren't they just lining up in droves? Yeah, don't you want to go to war with Russia? You remember how that went for Germany the last time? <laughs> do you want Good to, point. Do you want Good to bring point. back an entire... We'll go back to Stalingrad again. Like, well, can you rechange the name back to that? Let's go see how see how that works out for you. The famine, the disease, no, no, the it's, death it's, and destruction. It's a spring offensive. It's a spring oh, offensive okay. So it's not, They're yeah. not going in the winter. They're okay, not going in the winter. That, that was what we're, we're all going Oh, we've time. learned. The party is in better weather. So And okay. Russia, yeah, and Russia is now much weaker as an army. Yes, this is all sarcasm, in yes. case you're not picking up what Clayton's pulling down, putting down. Okay, so they're saying they need to make plans for a warpflicht. How do you say that word? Warpflicht. What word are you pointing to? This word, warpflicht. No, warpflicht? That uh, one. Oh, Wehr, oh verflicht. Warpflicht. Verflicht. Yes, that means mandatory draft or military service. I'm smiling because I just, my German's funny. This is not funny. Uh, so the German ministry now has laid out three options to reform the Wehrpflicht rules, the rules of conscription. This was in a leaked document from uh, Minister Boris Pistorius, and he's expected to choose one of three options and officially present it in June. Now, remember that timeline, June, according to Die Welt, Die Welt newspaper. Sorry. Uh, one option would be either required military registration for all young people at age 18. Another would require mandatory military registration for males, again, only after 18. And the third option would be making mandatory registration and potential draft compulsory for both men and women at age 18. And they're calling this gender neutral conscription, which stands to reason, right? Because Germany now allows parents to change their child's gender at birth. So if you abolish biological sex, you can't draft based on sex, right? I mean, if that if it were me and I were giving birth to a boy in Germany, knowing now that the German government wants to take this precious baby and throw him into a war machine against Russia, I'd be like, nope, this is a girl, right? But now you can't do that. They're going to take it no matter what. So I don't know what you're going to do. Uh, like other Western nations, Germany has very low military enrollment, meaning they have not succeeded at selling us this war and why your body should die for it, uh, while their leaders just show a high appetite for war. Like in France this weekend, President Emmanuel Macron said that France is not at war, but he left the matter very open-ended with this if statement at the bottom. I'm gonna, it's loosely translated by Twitter, so don't blame me for. If you go too far and threaten the interest of France and the security of Europe, then we exclude nothing. This dude cannot make up his melon. Uh, he keeps saying things indicating that France will go to war in Ukraine and then walking them back when his citizens absolutely freak out. Uh, and now they're calling for a draft in the UK for young people as well. An army chief says that everyone in the UK needs to think like troops. Okay, what does that mean? You need to think like a soldier because they want you to think you are at war. Look at this graphic. They These are the countries that NATO wants to start pulling troops from to reach 90,000 in order to, as the sun says, prepare for World War III drills or do drills for World War III. Okay, so all those countries there, they want your warm bodies. They want your teenagers. They want your sons and daughters. Lithuania has been waving their hands for a few weeks now saying, we're ready. We got people. We'll go. Uh, this is happening because Ukraine has allowed its army to die off. So if you think you're not following them in these footsteps, you are mistaken. Because And now they've had to implement draconian draft rules. And Ukrainians are trying to flee in order to avoid further conscription. Some dying while they are fleeing. Just last week, these six people died. 
trying to swim away. They are so desperate to get away from Ukraine. So young people of Europe, is this your future? Dying or escaping a country that wants to throw you into a war that you do not buy? Well, British MP Andrew Bridgen says, actually, we're at, already at war with Russia, and they're just not telling you that. And uh, he has a timeline for when we are going to be given this, and it lines up with this uh, German draft deadline that we just learned about. Remember, I said they'd tell us in June. So listen to what he has to say. Rishi wants out. Um, we are actually at war with Russia now. We've and got, we've got. They we, not just haven't told you. Haven't I, told you. So say that again. We're actually at war with Russia now. The, the, I met with uh, Andre Kellen, the Russian ambassador in London, uh, a couple of months ago, and he said that we know that your people are firing those storm shadow missiles at us out of Ukraine because so you couldn't you couldn't train the Ukrainians to do it. We know you're doing it, and I mean, everything everybody knows that everybody knows that. There are lots of U.S., uh, U.K., French. The French are in there. I thought it was the Brits were down on the ground and special advisors yeah. and yeah, 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 yeah. training yeah. sessions that, and is, teaching them and showing them. Isn't that how... But v they were apparently... Yeah. That's how we started with the Vietnam War. Vietnam War, yeah. Dude, what the frack are we doing poking the bear? That's really stupid. They're determined to get us into a war with Russia. <laughs> and thank God we've got someone in Putin who at least has... In, has, has got some oh, brains. Right. Now you sound like a Putin lover. Well, I'm not. I think I don't, I'm not convinced any of them are any good. But at the end of the day, if you look at the facts, since '91, we've moved NATO a thousand miles nearer to Moscow. They haven't moved nearer to us. No, they haven't. Hmm. Okay. Now I I want to apologize. Normally I catch the f words and try to bleep them, and I forgot. So I, I apologize for that. I just missed that one. That that one's on me. Um, now, he later says that this war is not wanted by anyone who is you think of that's a leader. Uh, this is Agenda 3030 from the World Economic Forum and that the 0.1% of the richest people in the world want this um, and they don't care that your teenager will be drafted or your the young person in your life will be drafted. They don't care at all. Watch. It's not a race between the blue and the red team to see who crosses the finishing line. This is a baton handover exactly. on all the big issues, net zero, the COVID response, the WHO, the trans agenda. Who's they, they, pushing they, it then? Who's pushing it? Who's pulling it's, the levers? It's, it's, it's Agenda 2030. It's the World Economic Forum, the, the point one of a percent of the richest people in the world. And the globalists? The globalists, yeah. The people who make... Listen, to make money... All you need is, all we need is next week's newspapers today, wouldn't we? Well, if you own next, next week's newspapers, <laughs> you know what's going to happen and what's going to be reported, regardless of what the facts are. And, and that's the position these are. So in. we're heading and for also, more. And also, yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, we're actually already in it. They're not going to tell the people probably till July or August, maybe a bit later. Um, and I think Rishi wants out. But hold on one second. I mean... If we go to war with Russia, we're talking about potentially nuclear war. I know. Do they understand I mean, what they're playing with? Well, we here? have a nuclear. We're not playing with fire. We're I, I know, I know, and, and it goes against all our our our, our defence thinking. But even we the, have nuclear weapons, so that no one would do that to us. So why would we do it to someone who's got twenty times more nuclear, thirty times more nuclear weapons than we've got? And not just that, their air defence capability, the S five hundred. I yes. mean, it's a million times better than what we've got. We've got nothing we've compared got, to that. We've got nothing that can stop any of their. What is it? We've got Arrow or something. I mean, that, that can't do jack shit with their hypersonic missiles. I've seen a report that we, we just do not have any defence for the UK against the Russian. Arsenal. Because you know they've got hypersonic missiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've got nothing against that. Nothing against that. Okay, so that's cheerful. Um, but, again, did you hear that? That they will finally admit it in this summer when we get the full conscription plan from Germany. We'll see. Yeah, we, we're at war. We have been for a while. We need more warm bodies. You in? Uh, so, July or August, that was not my big plans for the summer. Was it yours to be involved in a war? Let me know what you think of this and whether or not you want anything to do with it. And, you know, normally we say, tell your elected representatives that you don't want this. What he's indicating here is it doesn't matter. They're not actually calling the shots. And I'm sorry to leave you with that downer because I don't know what to do with it beyond just 
talk about it, I guess, and see it. it well, I mean, I'm going to ask Alex, Alexander, I'm curious about this in a minute or so, but I, I think it's interesting to think about this massive offensive that's unfolding in the north right now in Russia over the past 48 hours. Yeah. Ukraine has no troops left. They have no forces left. And to his point, they're telling them flat out, we know mm -hmm. that these Ukrainians are not firing these storm shadow missiles. We know that yeah. they're not doing the work. We know that they're not. So you're lot, we're, you know, we're about to come to blows here because NATO is going to have to do something. Either they go home with their football and they, you know, they pack up and go home or they're going to have to confront Russia as they inch closer to where these positions are. And so something's going to happen. Um, someone's going to, there's like a game of chicken right now. And I don't think Russia is bluffing on this. Like this is an existential crisis for Russia having NATO on its back doorstep right now. So we'll see what these countries do in Europe. But yeah, I mean, I, I just want to go on record and say, I'm happy to lose that game of chicken. Let's just stop. Stop right now. Let's just, yeah, let's, let's call it. Let's go to peace talks. I don't, I don't need to win that. So yeah, yeah not at the expense of anybody, anybody's lives. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.